and the Vipers was have in this international friendly. Before you can even talk about the leaders, but it was very important that you came and represented our nation in this. Well, whenever we move out of the country, we hold Uganda's flag. Whether it is friendly, whether it is whatever, it means the nation. So I would like to thank all of you for representing us in the first place and for honoring the friendly and above all for winning this match. It was very important for us because as I told you, we don't come to the beginning. We came for a very serious business. This was a build-up game as we prepare for the new season which also includes participating or competing in the Cup Champions League. We have achieved so many things. One, we have played almost under a full stadium where the fans were there. And that's what is expected under the Cup Champions League when you go to many countries that the fans will be there. So that one was a very good test. But how do you react when the fans are there? There is one, 100%. That means when the fans are there, you can play well. Two, we are playing under floodlights, which is not a very common experience for you. So it was very good, but also we played under that condition and we tested to see how do we perform when you play under floodlights. Because we are very much used to play during the time when the, when the sun is there and then we react. Three, we play against the Tanzanian champion, the giant of Tanzania. Because we understand very well, nobody can doubt the strength of young Africans. It's one of the traditional teams here. It has very rich history alongside with Simba, and everybody is very much aware of that. So when you play with such a team, and then you can be able to go back with something back home. It makes me proud. So thank you so much for that. And in three or four, we are praying away from home. Because normally that is the very nasty experience which we normally have. We've been doing very well at home, but when it comes for our games, most of the teams normally lose. They don't use that one. Normally they manage their home games, but when it comes to our games, there is always a problem. So I'm happy that we have started well. But of course, this is not the end product. Just as I normally talk about how we manage success. Success during the international friendly is very important at all of that. It's a test, it was a test. You have not beaten the younger because it is weak. No, football is like that. On any bad day, you can lose, isn't it? Or you can win. What is important? What have we achieved? What are the lessons that we have learned out of this? We have played on grass. We are used to our artificial turf that we normally use. So when we come and test again, there have been so many tests with this team. We have appreciated, not, not even looking at the results, but how it was arranged, many fans present, Praying an hour game, then again praying it at night when you are using fried rice, and above all, praying on natural grass, which we are not very much used with because for us we train on the other and then maybe I thought it would tease you. So I want to congratulate Coach and your team for work well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. In the same speed, I want to congratulate all of you. Thank you so very much for dying a little for your team. Giving more than 100 percent, you pray that the team will do all different departments helping each other. The swagger coming in to defend, the defender going forward to assist those ones who are in front, the goalkeepers doing their work. This is what to call it. Let us build on that. We are just building, we are in the process, we have not reached there, but we are building because we said we are looking forward to enter the group stages. Then at the same time, in the group stages, we are advanced beyond that. So it has been a very good build up with so many lessons that we have got, and I hope this one will pass. Our next destination is Rwanda. We are moving to Rwanda next Saturday.
Brand Ala International Friend Day Game. Okay? It's also going to be another big game for the other team, those will be the young younger here. So we want to test such a team. So it has to remain focused. Let's not take the excitement forward and then we don't play to do this and that. These are build up games. We are just trying to test and see where we are, what are our levels, what, what, what are our expectations, how are the teams prepared. This is what we want. So it has to build on that one. It has to build on that one. So that we build on success after success. So when we go back, please. We are not yet there. We are just building the team. We are just building the team. So that we get coordination, we get this and that. So that at the end of the day, we get the best out of it. Isn't it? Okay? Then maybe we will make a contribution to our team. If you have not played today, it's got his talent, his coach's plan. He knows what he's supposed to do and what particular type, which strategy is he's using. So you should not doubt it. He knows. The technical team knows what he is doing and I trust them that you keep on building the team so that by the time the new season opens, by the time we have the CAF Champions League, we are ready for the challenge. That's what those teams do. It requires preparation. And I told you our preparation means the law. Organization means the law. That's the way to go. There is nothing else. I told you, all players, I told you in Africa, we are the same. You know my address, the last one. There is no difference. But how prepared are you? How organized are you? That's what makes the difference. That's because it's what works. May I trust you are very good players and it has to be done. Congratulations, everybody. I will send the manager, Mr. Steven. We bring you some dollars.